going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Please get your favorite drink. Come around the table. Just be right here sitting with us. I mean, I hear it so many times on the prayer lines how you just join us and you love it. And and so, hey, just like you're just here, right here with us around this table, remember to call those prayer <coughs> lines, 307-637-PRAY. While we're going through the program, please, please, please don't go through things alone. You're anonymous. Nobody knows who you are. If you call in for prayer, we don't ask you nothing. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's, I, mean, I know why that is a lot of people that call because they, it's a safe place. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to know, you know, I have people call from Canada, from Trinidad, Dubai, I mean, all over. So we don't know who you are, what your name is, you know, it's a big, big world. And so mm -hmm. we're just grateful you call, get agreement so you don't have to go through things alone. Okay. I'm Charlene back to Mary, you guys, you host. Thank you for joining us. Stephanie Besh, Priscilla Pruitt, and Lana Garner. And wow, we have a <laughs> fabulous topic who God is and who God says we are. And so Lana's going to start because that was her topic and she's going to start us off. So let's go, Lana. Well, Luke 137, it says that one promise of God is empty of power for nothing is impossible with God. That's good. That's who our mm. God is. Amen. And mm. if you could dream it, if you could think it, he can do it over and above anything you ask or think. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we know that Christ is in us. That's the hope of our glory. We know that we know that we know that he's working together everything for good for those who love him. And you really know God by his names. Mm -hmm. He has so many wonderful names that cover every phase of this earth. For instance, he is Jehovah Elohim, which was said in the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. And Elohim is a plural God, the Father, the Son, yes. the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. and, El and he is Adonai, my master. We mm -hmm. are his masterpiece. And I'm sure Priscilla will, <laughs> will uh, speak on that as well, because her little baby's name is Adonai. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> he is Jehovah Nisi. He is the God who always brings us to triumph. He is El Shaddai. He is the all-sufficient one. He is the God who's more than enough. He is Jehovah Rapha, our mm. healer. Amen. Yes. Our healer that we could go to yeah. him when we have healing and he gives us the power to take the authority and speak healing over our bodies. Moses started his ministry at 80 years old. And when he was 120, his natural force was unabated. And you know what? He loves Moses as much as he loves us. That's right. And yeah. that same benefit, <laughs> amen, mm -hmm. is yeah. for us. He is Jehovah Rohi. The Lord, my shepherd. What does the mm, shepherd do? Yes. He takes total care of the sheep. Mm -hmm. Where they sleep, where they eat, where they go. Protects them. Protects them. Mm -hmm. And he does that for us. Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. You want to say something? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just, yeah. It's funny because Charlene was laughing. She forgot my daughter's name is Adonai. <laughs> oh, what? So I know, like, well, because I'm saying it's Ellie, Ellie should die. Oh, yeah. Ellie like, should die. You're talking Ellie is the older yeah. one. I thought she was talking about the baby. I go, that's not, yeah. that's not <laughs> Ellie's name. Yeah. That's funny. But so Adonai that's what was going on yeah. one, behind so. the scenes. But I have the same thing, you know. He is our Abba Father. Mm -hmm. He is our Jehovah Jireh that provides. Yeah. Our Jehovah Shalom that's our peace. You know, yes. a lot of people walk around without peace. But mm -hmm. God is actually our peace. He yeah. gives us the peace. He's El Elyon, which means the God Most High. He's El Con. Con, Elkanah, mm. the jealous mm. God. And, you know, when I read that, I'm like, some people are going to take that wrong because you think jealousy is bad. But no, no, no. The way that God's jealous for us is that he's jealous in his relentless pursuit yeah. for you and for yeah. me. He wants nothing else to take the place of him in our hearts. And he's El Roy, the God who sees you. And I think that's so beautiful because there's so many people out there that think right now, they may be watching and you think, 
you know, he doesn't see me. He doesn't know who I am. He doesn't care about me. No, but El Roy means the God who sees. That means he sees you no matter what you're going through, no matter how little and and you think you're doing nothing in this world, how minuscule you think mm -hmm. you are to this world. You think you're an ant. No, God sees you. And he's Jehovah Rapha, our healer, like like Lana said, he's Adonai, like she said, which is, is my daughter's name, one of my daughter's names, Adonai Grace. She's God's grace. But he means, it means our Lord, our master, our teacher. Mm -hmm. And he is El Shaddai, another one of my daughter's name, which means our all-sufficient God. Mm -hmm. But he is also our comforter, our advocate, and he yes. intercedes for us. And he is yeah. our savior who died for us. Uh -huh. And no other religion, out of all the little G gods out there, mm -hmm. ours is the only one that literally died for us for our sins and he's the one true god and no other god has ever died for other, for their believers or their exactly. children that's right and so he loves us unconditionally and he asks only for one thing in return and that's our hearts and you know mm -hmm. what i love about it is that a lot of people think of christians that we have to be perfect but god doesn't say that he never uh -huh. says we have to be perfect no. he doesn't say that we have to perform we don't have to walk on eggshells or any of that mm -hmm. on the contrary being a follower of christ comes with Freedom. Yes. Freedom. You no longer have to be a slave to sin, to drugs, to alcoholism, to pornography, to whatever your vice may be. You don't have to be a, vi um, a, a slave to that. Because when you surrender your heart to the Most High God and you come as you are, the Holy Spirit comes in. And even if you mess up, He convicts your heart so much that that desire, the way you feel once you've done it, it's gone mm -hmm. because you don't want that feeling. That desire for drugs, whatever it may be. You feel that conviction and you're like, oh, I can't do it. I can't. You mm -hmm. just feel so horrible. You don't want it anymore. You don't want that to, to hurt your father. You don't want that sin. You feel the, the way it separates you from God and it changes you. And so there's, those desires leave. And then the things that enslave you, maybe fear, maybe insecurity, anxiety, depression. There's a lot of depression going on after COVID and during COVID. They have to leave because now you have authority as a child of the Most That's High right. God. That's right. It comes with an authority. Amen. And you can literally tell it to leave yeah. because you are a child of the Most High God. And God says that you have authority now. And this is in John 14, 12. Truly, truly, which means I know for a fact this is true. I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do. And greater works than these will he do. Mm -hmm. So that means that for sure our sharing God that shares his power with us mm -hmm. says that if there's something in your body, if there's a sickness, if there's a disease, if there's anything you're going through, that you can speak to that and it will leave in the name of Jesus. And that's truly amazing that the God of the universe, the God of the universe yeah. shares his power with us. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he called you his child. He says that, <clears throat> he says that you are cre created and chosen. He says that you are his children. He says that his banner over you is love. Mm -hmm. He calls you kings and priests, justified, redeemed. He calls you a friend, an heir. He calls you forgiven, God's workmanship, a citizen of heaven. And he is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, right? So if he said this, it's for you forever. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean like if you sin right now, that you're, you're done. He, he doesn't love you anymore. No, he means forever. Mm -hmm. You are his and he loves you. Nothing can snatch you away from his hand. That's right. And I love in John 1, 1, where it says in the beginning was the word mm -hmm. and the word was God. The word was with God and the word was God. He yeah. mm -hmm. is the true word. Yeah. And then God identifies himself as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, it says in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And then he describes himself as I am that I am. He said to Moses, and by these two names, it means that God is both intimately personal and then concerned with individual people mm -hmm. that he loves dearly. He is a supreme being. Yes. He is deity. Yes. Um, he is Yahweh, meaning to be. He always was, is, and he is to come. Amen. He is on, omnipotent. He is omnipresent. God is always there. He tells us that in Romans 8:17 that we are God's children, and if children mm -hmm. also heirs, and heirs of God, and co-heirs with Christ, That's right. if indeed we suffer with him, so that he may also be, we may also be glorified with him, I love that he is Abba Father. Amen. Jesus called him Abba Father. Mm -hmm. He spoke that out, and, and so when, when he does that, we get to do that. He didn't do anything outside of his Father's will. Mm -hmm. he, he said what God said, he said, and he did what God said. 
<clears throat> who is his Abba Father. He called us um, a chosen race, it says in 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you mo may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. I love that Abba Father created his son Jesus yes. just for us. He sent him to the cross. Mm -hmm. He died. Mm -hmm. He rose again. But what I love Hallelujah. is Jesus became the light of the world. God said, I love you so much that I don't want you to live in darkness. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. send my son. I'm going to be your Abba Father. I'm going to be your perfect father, your heavenly father. He's speaking to that to you right now because maybe you don't have an earthly father that was good to you. Maybe he told you you were no good or that he didn't love you or that he didn't want to own you, but you have a heavenly father yes. who is Abba Father, who loves you, who said, I will send my son and he will be the, um, the light of the world. And when you receive that, you will walk in his marvelous light and where darkness is, it cannot touch you. Darkness cannot even comprehend the light of the world, the light of Jesus Amen. that is on the inside of you. Yes. He, be he became the light for you. He is Abba Father. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yes, he's, yeah. he's the God of restoration. Yes. And he calls us blessed, loved, courageous, redeemed, free, beautiful, victorious. We are heirs, joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Amen. He, he says that we are chosen and forgiven, gifted and valuable. He says that we are beautiful. And yes. let me tell you something. I don't care how physically, worldly beautiful you are. If you <laughs> yeah. don't have mm. the beautiful from God, God. Amen. if yeah. God doesn't say you're beautiful, honey, you That's better so get true. beautiful. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't care who That's you are. Right. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the truth? Have a, a, he says that we have a purpose and a destiny mm. and that we belong to him and that we are his beloved, his child that he has made us bold as lions mm. and that we are his marvelous masterpiece. Plus, he has your name tattooed on his hand. Yeah. Don't you yes. love it? Right? It's amazing. Yeah. He has all his children's name tattooed on his hand. Yes. And no other God, little g God, can say that. That's no right. other God cares about his followers like that or his children like that. Only the one true God. And that's so beautiful <laughs> to me because that's a reminder. He's like, this is how much I love you. Mm -hmm. Every yeah. time I look at it, I, I see you. But we're always on his mind anyways. But yeah. he's right. just saying, yeah. it's just showing yeah. how much he loves us. Mm -hmm. That's well, right. And we are given authority. Mm -hmm. If we must take that authority mm -hmm. over heaven and earth, Yes. that God has given us, that we have authority over mm. all the uh, creatures that, that are on this earth, over all the vegetation, and that if we use that authority, that we could speak in the name of Jesus. If That's you right. don't use that name, mm -hmm. if you make a most beautiful prayer, eloquent and marvelous, but you don't use the name of Jesus, it's in vain, the Bible yeah. says. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that we obey God and that we take authority and we decree and declare only what God has said. Amen. I, you know, I mean, you hear people sometimes, and I, I'm sympathizing with them, say they have a horrible migraine. But we are to declare in Jesus' name, rather than saying, oh, I have a horrible not migraine, it's all I get are migraines, I can't live with this anymore. No, a child of God says, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, I'm taking authority of you, over you. I'm telling the pain to leave Amen. my body mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. That healing is the children's bread. Mm -hmm. yes. And we are to receive it and nothing else. Don't, because when you speak negative, you're speaking what the devil just whispered in your ear. Mm -hmm. It's good. a lie. But when you know, see, God's not that accommodating. You have to spend time with him in the word. <laughs> you have to know his word. And when you know his word yeah. and you speak his word, mm. it, comes, in, it comes to pass. We are children of the most mm -hmm. high right. God. Amen. His children. 
Amen. His children is so awesome. The creator and we have of everything. authority right. over mm -hmm. depression, mm -hmm. yes. over sickness, over disease, uh, prosperity. He wishes above all things mm -hmm. that we prosper mm -hmm. and yeah. be in health. That's right. You know, now, if I were God, I'd say, you know, I want you to pray 24 hours. <laughs> I want you to speak in tongues. <laughs> Thank God you're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but God says he wishes above all things that we prosper and we yeah. be in health. We are yeah. king's kids. Hallelujah. Right. You're talking Amen. about word and authority. Well, you have to... First of all, believe the word, and you have to believe that it says in Isaiah that just as the snow and rain falls mm. to the ground, yeah. soaks it, and cannot mm -hmm. return void, so is it my word. Amen. It will not return void, that which you're going to speak, but you have to have <clears throat> speaking and authority hand in hand. Yep. Yeah. And you speak that word because he says it yeah. will not return void. But what did he say? It will accomplish the very purpose that I sent it forth to do. Amen. And so the biggest thing is you've got to learn to take authority for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. You know, sometimes you'll take authority over this or you take authority over that and you'll speak this, speak that. But you have to learn to speak over your situation, yeah, right. That's like right. Lana said, and mm -hmm. have the authority and faith, and you have to have expectation. This mm -hmm. thing is not just like, oh yeah, I'm just throw this up. You gotta believe it. You gotta believe that his word yeah. is so powerful. It's active, it's sharper than any double-edged sword. It will per <laughs> <laughs> It will what? Pierce. Pierce. <laughs> oh, that was funny, sorry. <laughs> it will Pierce. Pierce. Real life. Pierce. <laughs> I didn't hear that. that. Say, what did you say? I wanted to tell you what she said. <laughs> awesome. Oh, tears. <laughs> I'll edit that. <laughs> Don't edit it. It's great. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, anyways, and it pierces and it divides soul between spirit. You know, the carnal thing and the spiritual thing so that you can go forth. Yeah. You have got to realize the biggest thing in this whole thing that we're talking about and what everybody has said is what God says about Amen. you. That's and right. like I, I, you know, I said earlier to someone <laughs> that, that, you know, when you come out of a lifestyle and all of us come out of old mm -hmm. into the new, yes. God says, That's when right. you get born again, all old is yep. gone, all new mm -hmm. has come. Amen. But the new just simply doesn't come. You have to believe what God says. Mm -hmm. You have to believe his word. And say you've heard something all your life, just, oh, yeah. you're this, this horrible person. You're worthless. You're good for nothing. You're only good for one thing. You're this, you know, all these kinds of things. All these things that you would never measure up. I hate you. And, you know, parents say a lot of cruel things to their children. And so maybe you've heard that. And then you come in to the kingdom of God, and all of a sudden you hear all these things that God mm -hmm. says, well, That's it right. takes you a moment. Mm -hmm. It takes you a moment, but you gotta grab onto yeah. it. Yeah. You gotta believe it, because you are valuable. He died for you, he That's loves right. you. You are important to the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. and the devil's job from yeah. the day you were born again, and the day you were born before you were born again, because you know mm -hmm. you may not have knew that you were gonna be born again, but every one of your days was written in his book before it come to pass. Yeah. And so so he knows what you're doing right now. That's he right. knew that you're tuning in. He knows everything. Our job is just to walk it out and believe what he says about us. Yeah. And once you start believing, because the devil, when he comes, <clears throat> When you know to steal, kill, and destroy, he wants to destroy your very purpose. Yes. He wants to destroy everything about you. He wants you to believe that the lie is mm -hmm. the truth, and the truth is a lie. Yeah. It's it's bottom line, and that you'll never measure up. You can't be like Lana. You can't be like yeah. uh, Priscilla. You can't be like Stephanie. You can't be well, like me. Well, thank God, because yeah, you'd, exactly. be That's right. you'd be mm -hmm. a counterfeit of yeah. yourself, and it mm -hmm. would equal no results. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to be who God says you are, yes. and who God created you to yes. be. Who right. God predestined yeah. and ordained you to be mm -hmm. and all you have to do is start really like Lana yeah. was saying take authority and speak right. the word yes. of God yeah. Stephanie yes. had some valuable tools for you Priscilla had valuable tools yeah. for you and it takes those tools to really start and one thing I say to everybody and this is what helped my life 
because the battle is so strong in the mind and the devil is just throwing stuff constantly and you just constantly got to fight and what he does is he fights you against you mm -hmm. he's not really having yeah. to think about somebody else he wants he he's you know your your battle is with you and your mind and you're thinking oh i shouldn't have done that i should have said that oh, i'm so stupid i mean you know it's always the devil mm -hmm. is causing you to mm -hmm. fight against you and if you will take this scripture and take every mm -hmm. thought captive mm -hmm. to the obedience of Christ. Because it says once your obedience is complete, then yeah. something can move forward. And so if you got to say it a thousand times yeah. a day, I don't That's care. Right. you got to think yes. about what you're thinking about because it's like a beehive and it just goes around and around and around and around. Look at you, look at you. Yeah. And it's so constant and it is a battle. It's the battleground. But you're yeah. on the front line right there with the devil trying to take yeah. what God is really predestined, ordained, and gave to you. That is your rightful birthright. Yes. You have all of the things in you that God predestined and ordained mm -hmm. for you to walk out. It's almost That's like right. everything that uh, Stephanie said. I mean, you know, darkness cannot even compare for mm -hmm. the light. He said, I brought you out of darkness yeah. into my marvelous light. And I'll tell you, he has such plans for you. Yeah. But it starts with taking captive these right. thoughts and bring it to the obedience of Christ because no weapon formed against you can prosper. And if you start speaking that scripture, even just, just get yeah. a scripture that is a powerful scripture that, that can breathe, that, that the Holy Spirit has something to breathe on because you have to speak it out of your mouth mm -hmm. and decree it and yeah. then he can breathe it and he can push you into places that you need yeah. to be and one is no weapon formed against me shall prosper mm -hmm. when you say that just say no weapon That's formed right. against me whatever that weapon is I don't know if it's a, yeah you know I, whatever it is yeah. you know mm -hmm. you say it cannot prosper against me and no uh, no tongue that rises against me you know it should be shown in the wrong it should be yeah. shown in the wrong because the heritage of the <clears throat> servants of the Lord we we are his we That's are right. servants of the Lord and it's what is rightfully ours don't let the devil take you mm -hmm. to his party mm -hmm. every day That's right. beating you up and telling you you ain't good enough and you don't measure up and mm -hmm. you'll never be like them on TV well thank God because yeah. you only want to be who God That's called right. you to be again you're valuable you are valuable you are important i'm and i said this another time that if you're just a mom right now you might not have a big uh tv ministry but if you're a mom raising an elijah or a moses or a daniel mm. you're important honey that's right you are important exactly you that's don't right. know what child you're raising they that's could be right. the next president of the united yes. states of america yeah. and it's the gospel yes. truth yes. and so your job is very man, the anointing's all over me mm -hmm. because the god, first ministry yeah. is our god has yeah. yeah god has something on somebody for that listen Amen. you know it you're raising somebody very <laughs> important yeah. and in your you're saying to yourself you've really messed up you have really berated this child because you have so much pain within you as you look at this mm -hmm. child because of the way that the child was brought into the world but God is saying it's very important that you stop yeah. and this That's is the, right. this is the uh, year of the mouth and what you say you're gonna get mm -hmm. Amen. I mean it is it is <laughs> the, so in the Hebrew calendar the, the, mm. the, the year of the mouth mm. and, and and that's why God has said he's bringing forth the authentic and he just wants you to be the authentic that's you right. and the devil wants to always make you try to try to be somebody else because then there's no fruit there's nothing in that when you are trying to be a counterfeit mm -hmm. and so just mm -hmm. be who God called you to be and believe that he says great yeah. things over you because you really do you have the goods to succeed Amen. we just have to believe it we Amen. have to grab a hold yeah. of it we have to take it and say yeah. devil i take authority over that's you. right yeah. you know what i was thinking when you were mm -hmm. sharing that is you take the word of god uh -huh. and you speak it because when god spoke he yes. it was creative and things changed mm -hmm. so yes. you take the word of god <clears throat> genesis 127 god created man in his own image he created male and female so you start uh -huh. saying he created me like him yeah. Um, you start saying um, in 1 Corinthians 3, 16, it says, Do you not know that you are God's temple and God's spirit dwells in you? Mm -hmm. You start reminding the enemy and yourself, Wait a minute, I'm God's mm -hmm. temple. Mm -hmm. He created me to be that way and his spirit dwells in me. Mm -hmm. And then, like Charlene said, we become a new creation in mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. Old things pass away oh. when we receive Jesus. And then Romans eight thirty seven says, No. 
in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Yeah, well, we, and Paul, yeah. we thank you so much uh -oh. for joining oh. us today. Oh. My goodness, that went fast. Yes. I know. That went that really went fast. So I know. fast. Woo. Just remember, God loves you. God has a plan for you. And, and when we yeah. use the topic of what God says about you and what yeah. he says about um, us, then that is um, okay. You Sorry, know what? I'm gonna you, I'm yeah. gonna uh, wait. You know, I think we have a few more minutes here, yeah. and um, we're just gonna continue uh -huh. on with the show it was my for fault. a second. I thought he held up the time. Yeah, well, she okay. thought, Yeah, she told me you only got two minutes. You know what? Okay. I love Shannon. So, okay, go no. ahead. No, oh, I was just gonna say what what I love uh, so much is that when we invite Jesus into our heart, we He really comes in. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the Bible says that one day will be like him. Mm -hmm. And every single day, we're more and more like him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And then he says, I am, <laughs> he tells about us. He says, I am saved. <laughs> I am complete. I am chosen. I am forgiven. Mm -hmm. I am a new creation in Christ. Yeah. All things that pass away. He literally transforms yeah. us. That's right. That, that a, as children of the most high God, that we become like Jesus. We are redeemed. We are light. We are justified. We are free from sin. More than conquerors. God's temple. Mm -hmm. One with Christ. One with Christ. Mm. Called. We are called. Created for good works. He, it's just staggering to think all the things that we are and God has made us that we are so precious to him and that we are as citizens of heaven, that we are ambassadors for Christ, no longer being led by the world mm -hmm. and the pain and the suffering and the depression, but to walk in joy. The word joy mm -hmm. comes from God. Yeah. It comes strictly Amen. from God, that we are his beloved. And with and that, we have to go. In God. Yeah. Yes. With that, we have to go. Um, I'll just, <laughs> sometimes, you know, it's just real TV and we're real here and we don't do teleprompters. And I thought it was over four minutes ago. And, <laughs> and uh, it's all right. Right now is the most important part of this program, and that's to bring you to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, because we certainly don't want you to die mm -hmm. and live in eternal hell. Mm -hmm. You know, there's two places, heaven and hell, and you have a choice right now. You can't make that choice once you die. I mean, you cannot make that choice, and I don't have the time to tell you the story mm -hmm. about the rich, you know, uh, man rich and Lazarus, and I just, I, I don't have the time right now in Luke, but... God, by his Holy Spirit, is drawing you, and you have felt it, and you know it. You know that something is going on, and he's just saying, come to me today. Mm -hmm. Let go of all your sin. Let go of every you trying to do everything, and let me come in and help you on this journey. And all you got to do is say, I surrender all, Lord. Forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. Mm -hmm. I need you. I can't do it anymore on my own. You know, you've tried everything, and what you need is Jesus. You need Jesus. He's the yes. only way, truth, and life with the Father. And then you ask him to be baptized in the Holy Spirit and with fire. And I'll tell you, that fire will come out and burn everything that displeases him, and he'll give you a fresh fire and desire to serve the living God. It's a powerful, powerful thing you just done. I mean, I'll tell you, you, you cannot live this life without God. I don't know how people do it. I really don't. And it's fun serving Jesus. Please know that. And just call our prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. If you had done that, 7729, so that we can you know, pray for you or love on you, please tell somebody, you know, so that you can have somebody help you mm -hmm. through this walk, okay? Please go to our website today, learn more about us, godsviewtvshows.com. Help mm -hmm. us today by giving us an offering to keep coming to your home around the world with the gospel.